Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add a fade out effect to a movie in Adobe Premiere. So we have Adobe Premiere 6 right here, so it's probably the same for most versions, but you never know. Um, so what you first need to do, which is, this is kind of a cool feature of Adobe 6, I don't think 5 lets you do this. If you hold, hold down Alt, you could s and just keep your mouse in one place, you could kind of scroll into the end, because it's always good to put your effect while you're kind of zoomed in, because you're not sure you know, make sure things are going to line up, especially if you have like other you know, audio or logo overlays, that kind of thing. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to find the effects section and go to video transitions and then to dissolve. And there's there's a couple different ones. We're going to stick with the basic dip to black. You could also kind of do a, a dither dissolve, which kind of makes it kind of fizzle away or dip to white and that kind of thing. So it's just as simple as you drag it to the end of your video file. If you notice that if you don't, if you try and drag it here, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. You have to drag it to the end and you let go and then you could kind of play where you want it to go. And if you go, oh, that's not fast enough, that, you know, dipped out too quick, you could just simply make your extension right there, drag it out longer, and then you have it dips out slower and takes a little longer, so then it starts over, if you don't stop it. But anyway, so we'll go back to the end here. And we could try it even longer. And click here, and we'll watch it. it takes even longer to fade out. So, and then, you know, if it's too long, you just kind of drag it back shorter and and kind of adjust how you want to do it. And you could also you could also do it up here, too. Uh, same idea, but I kind of like to do it better here because you get a better idea of where it's at. And you could also kind of drag your marker to where you want it to start fading and then just kind of pull it back to the marker and makes it easy like that. And that's pretty much it. All right. Thanks for watching.